one of the things at sicknotweek.com that we've tried to do is try to share people's experiences with you, with the audience. Now, m most of you wouldn't know what we are. I don't come in here thinking everyone knows Sick Not Week, but one day we hope that if you need us, we will be there. And one of the voices that, that we found, I talked to her on the phone, I don't know, four months ago, and I said, oh my God, you are a star. You have such an amazing ability to tell a story. Uh, her name is Leanne Simpson. She is known as Spilt Milk. That's her feature on SickNotWeek.com. And we couldn't do this event without having her speak. So Leanne, come on up. There's no pressure to come up this way. Oh my God. I think we need, uh, we need your microphone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the Juno Awards, Chris Topping. Hi, Leanne. Hello. So, you have, you have shared so much. Could, have you always been able to share? I mean, like, you're only like 12 years old anyway, so, I mean, they couldn't have been sharing for that long, but how old are you? I'm 23. And when was the first time that you said to a group of people, I suffer from a mental illness, and tell us what that mental illness is. Um, I have bipolar disorder, and I was diagnosed when I was 17, and in high school, and there was actually a big scandal. It was bad. If you're going to get caught being manic, you might as well get caught naked. <laughs> you got caught Ooh. naked? Is that, is that normally a symptom of mania? Really? It can be, and that's the thing. It doesn't always have to be that big. It can be something small. It can grow inside you until you don't know it's there, and suddenly it becomes you. So you, your life kind of blew up at that point, right? It did, and when something blows up like that, your first instinct is to hide and never talk about it again. Like, let's just pretend this never happened. I dropped out of high school, I didn't think I'd get through university, and I ended up in a hospital. So, here you are today, what do you have to say to these folks? If something bad happens to you, something that you can't control, you can come back from it. I failed out of school twice, and I ended up, I'm graduating from my master's in two months, with a full scholarship. Thank you. The, the thing that happened at my school, that's just stuff to write about. I went back to my high school a couple months ago for my first episode of Spilt Milk, and it was scary because I hadn't really been in there since the horrible thing happened. And I went in there and I told everyone what it's like to have mental illness and how the person sitting beside you might have it and they might be too scared to tell you, and that's because we don't talk about it. And after I finished my speech, a girl I used to teach swimming lessons to when she was 10, she was in high school then, and she came up to me and she told me that she was thinking of going to the hospital. And now that she had listened to my story and how you can be the class president, you can be the most popular person in school or not, mental illness doesn't discriminate. If it chooses you, you need someone to turn to. And if, even if you don't have mental illness, you can be the person that that person turns to. And you're a mental health superhero. If you can listen, if you can give a hug that lasts exactly the right amount of time, you are perfect. And all of you have the potential to do that in this room. I'm not famous at all. You might know me from that time I ordered a sub in a cupcake bathrobe, but that's pretty much my crowning achievement in life at this point. But the greatest thing that you can do is share and listen. And tonight, you've all made the f first step in doing that. So thank you. Oh, you're back. Hello. You can talk directly to young women who are your age, close to your age, who've been through the high school. What, what, Specifically to the young women in the crowd, what, what would you say to them when it comes to, um, you know, the fear of coming out, of sharing, of being bullied by it? What, what, what would you say? I think the most important thing I've learned is actually through Tinder. If, if you are on a date and you are not sure if you should tell someone that you have mental illness, if you're worried about coming out to them and you're not sure if they'll accept you, if they don't accept you, they don't matter. You have to know that about yourself. Know that you are worth it. You are all worth it. W would it be inappropriate if I said I learned the same thing on Grindr? <laughs> like Not I, at I, all. Oh, so, oh, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. 
So Leanne, uh, what do you have? You do this segment for us called Spilt Milk. And what, what, is, what is your goal with that? And, and what, do you, what magic do you have coming up? Well, coming up, in light of the, the tragedy in Orlando, I actually went to, I'm a national dodgeball player in my spare time. Hold on. <laughs> is, raise your hand if you knew that there was a national dodgeball team. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that person knew. You, I like you, that person. You got a PR problem here, okay? I do. I don't even have Twitter. I just got in trouble for that. <laughs> Uh, so, finish, finish your story. Well, I went to the Gay Dodgeball League in Toronto called Downtown Dodgeball, and I interviewed a bunch of players who have the intersectionality of being LGBTQIA and have mental illness. Because if you think coming out about mental illness is hard, imagine coming out twice. Beautifully so. <laughs> put. No, it's true. I mean, it's, uh, coming out is never easy. But when you, have, uh, when you have to face two different judgments, I guess it's multiplied. Leanne, thanks for doing this. Can't, can't, sick, no, we couldn't do an event without you. Leanne Simpson. Thanks so much, Michael.